than 25 years ago, a new way to protect tanks from shape, charge and munition was revealed to the world. It was so-called explosive reactive armor. First era kits were designed almost at the same time by Israel and the Soviet Union. At that time, shape, charge ammunition was the most dangerous threat for main battle tanks and the explosive reactive armor turned out to be a very simple and efficient way to restore the parity in the everlasting contest between armor and ammunition. Since then, different types of explosive reactive armor kits have been designed in quite a number of countries. But all foreign era kits offer protection only against shape charge threats. Besides, they defeat the threats only in the tank frontal arc and in a very narrow fire arc from the sides. Any effort to apply era to light armored vehicles or to protect the tank sides in all fire arcs ended in failure. The main impediments to such efforts were insufficient reduction of the shape charge jet penetration, strong blast effect on the thin main armor and low multi-hit ability of the ERA system. Nistali has been engaged in development of ERA since 1950s and it was in 1980s when it started research and development of ERA systems for light armored vehicles. By that time it was clear that this task required a different approach implying development of a special ERA tile and a new protection structure. By 2000, the first Euro kit for BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle was tested and accepted for service. The kit offered all-round protection against rocket-propelled anti-tank grenades such as PG-9 capable to penetrate 500 mm of steel armor. However, the requirements to protection systems of combat vehicles are getting more and more strict every year. The new objective is to ensure protection of light armored vehicles against shape charge ammunition able to penetrate 600 to 700 mm of steel armor and also against tandem warhead ammunition. High protection is also required for tank sides. For the last five years, Nistali has been working hard to achieve these objectives and can offer a number of effective solutions. A new version of the ERA kit for light armored vehicles is being tested. It uses upgraded ERA tiles. The protection is tested by PG-9 anti-tank grenade, able to penetrate 500 mm of steel armor. The grenade fails to penetrate the hull. Besides, only one ERA box is destroyed. All other boxes remain intact. Another ERA version is tested with a stronger PG-7 anti-tank grenade penetrating 600 mm of steel armor. Though the screen has been perforated, the hull is not damaged. And only one adjacent ERA box has come out of order along with the one hit by the grenade. Now, the standard ERA box is tested against tandem warhead threats. For this purpose, PG-29 Vampire Anti-Tank Grenade is used, which can penetrate 750 mm of steel armor behind the ERA system. As we can see, the 260 mm thick steel armor assembly has been perforated. It means that any light armored vehicle will be disabled by such hit. And this is one of the latest era designs to protect against tandem warhead ammunition. It is tested by the same vampire grenade. You can hardly see any marks from the grenade on the main armor. Focusing on increase of the combat efficiency of ERA systems, Nistali also solves other problems related to multi-hit ability, maintainability and performance of the systems under small arms fire.
all era designs are tested for their insensitivity to armor-piercing incendiary bullets and small caliber cannon ammunition. As well as to high explosive round fragments. Other parameters of ERA systems are also checked. As a result, a package of upgrading suggestions has been worked out both on ERA kits for main battle tanks and for light armored vehicles. These suggestions are based on using new types of ERA tiles as well as on improved ERA designs. <laughs>